Hi guys, in the previous video we are giving the style to the H1 and all the headings and we have created this here you can see that we have put the image and the text and the heading and now here I'm gonna give the style to the H1, H2 and all the headings and now I'm gonna give the font size to each and every heading whenever we use that heading so that fonts font size and the line height will be applied here we have to write font size here is the font size is 40 pixel and then here is the line height is 48 pixel and then here it is and here this is the h2 and it have the font size 36 pixel reduce it and here is the 44 and now here I'm gonna apply h3 and it have the 40 pixel line height and 32 pixel font size here it is the 32 pixel 32 and here is the h3 and here is h4 and h4 have the 28 pixel 28 pixel and here is the 34 pixel and now here I'm gonna apply 30 pixel and here is the 24 pixel line height so now h6 have the 20 pixel font and here is the 24 pixel to the h5 here is the h5 and here is the h6 now let's render it and here you see that the font is applied on it but now here I want to tell you another thing this is the content area this is the footer area and here you see that the, this images float out this images overflow from this content area so that's why now we have to give the style to the row here is the row so when we give the style to the row we are also able to give it clear both so the element any element is not going to be float on each to other and then we are also going to give it overflow hidden so the overflow is become hidden and here it is first of all here I'm gonna write container and here is the dot row and now I'm gonna insert the content before and after the row here I want to tell you something that we are gonna insert a little space before and after the row div so in this way what is happening here I tell you I'm, I'm gonna explain this here you see that before the row we have element container and after the row we have element adjust one so adjust one have the float left and when we place these two divs so their content is going to be mixed up and that's why we will give a space to the row to insert it before and after it so in this way the content is not going to be mixed up the content is not going to be overflow here is the before before and after here I'm gonna provide after and here I'm gonna provide content and here is the display I'm gonna give it the display block and here is the overflow is hidden and here I'm gonna provide visibility is also hidden and here is the width is 0 and here is the height is 0 so content this space is inserted and before and after the row div and it is display as a block overflow is hidden and the visibility is also hidden it is not shown on the screen and the width and height of it is zero and now here I'm gonna give another thing that is the clear both after the row we cannot allow any element to float on in each other here you see that 
this is the row div and we are gonna provide the clear both on all the divs after the row div and here I'm gonna provide dot container and here is row here is after here is clear here is both so now here you see that this content is now set on its place the content area is increased the, so it is not going to be float and here you see that the main image is shown here when we create the footer then it will be fixed and now I'm gonna give the style to the image indent board class I'm gonna increase the distance below and on the top side of the image here it is and here you see that here we have give the class image indent bot here I'm gonna copy it and here in the styles here I'm gonna create indents and now here I'm gonna paste it here it is and here I'm gonna give the margin here is the margin 5 pixel from the top and here is 0 pixel from the left 16 pixel from the down 0 pixel from the right and here is reload it so here it is and now I'm gonna give the style to this definition list here is the definition list this class is given to the definition list I'm gonna copy it and then here I'm gonna paste it and first of all here I'm gonna give the style to this definition list here we have to write first write the padding and 0 0 and here is the 10 pixel for the bottom side of the description list so a distance is added on the bottom side here you see that and now here it is and now here I'm gonna give the style to this description term here you see that this is the term this link and here it is the term here is the DT and now here is and here is the display here is the block and now here is the font size 12 pixel and then here we have to give the line height here is the line height is 18 pixel and then here is the padding I'm gonna give it 0 pixel from the top left and here is the 6 pixel from the bottom and 0 pixel from the right and here is the font weight font weight is bold and now I'm gonna give the style to the anchor tag that is inside the DT inside the description term here you see that this is the DT and here is paste it here is this and now here is I'm gonna give the color here is hash P09 609 and now here is the text decoration here is none and then when let's check it it is yellow type color and when we take the mouse over it so it's become underline I'm gonna provide that style here is copy this paste it here and here is hover it's become underlined when we take the mouse over the text here is the underline and now let's check it here you see that it is underlined and now here you see that this background is present so I'm gonna set the mean I think we have not give the position and the no repeat property to the main 
and here is we have to give no repeat here is the no repeat and then we have to give the center in the x-axis and 0 for the y-axis and now it is disappeared so here is the content area and here you see that there is a space is present and this is just due to the margin and the padding of the description list so now I'm gonna remove the margin padding of the description list here I'm gonna write DL and here is DT and here is DD I'm gonna remove its margin and padding here is 0 and here is the padding is also 0 so now here here you see that it is removed and now you can see that first image and its text is inserted so now what we need to do we have to just copy the code and then paste it so other is created and then what you need to do you just need to change the name of the image so the other image is inserted here from the adjust to we have to copy the code and then paste it because the code is same just the image name is changed here I'm gonna copy this and here is this is second and this is third and this is fourth so now let's load it and here you see that all are inserted and now we have to change the name of the image here is the image 4 here is the image 3 and here is the image 2 and now let's reload it so now you can change these names and the text I have give it the same names so that's why it is not a problem you can change it and now the next thing is we have to create this border and this button and then under the button we have to create this space so now let's start here I want to show you something that is this div this is the div we have give it hr border one class by using this class we will give the border bottom and here is its closing tag here is the closing tag and now here I'm gonna use this copy it here is this copy it and here I'm gonna paste it in the style sheet at the end here I'm gonna create the indents here is its uh, borders here I'm gonna write border and then here is this is the HR border one HR mean horizontal rule here is this here is the border I'm gonna insert it border bottom of the div is one pixel solid here is hash 32 hash 32 32 and here is the margin 0 pixel 0 pixel and here is the 9 pixel on the bottom side of the margin so let's reload it so now here this margin is created and a 9 pixel distance is also given under it and now we have to create this uh, read more button here you see that this read more button and its arrow so here so now here I want to tell you something that here you see that this re read more button is after this horizontal rule and here is the div closing tag we have give the border to this div so that's why we have to create the read more button after this div here you can see that this contain the border h1 class so now here I'm gonna create that button here we have to define the class and here is the I'm gonna give it a line right because we have to align this div to the right side because the button is on the right side and here is the anchor tag here I'm gonna give hyper reference and here is and here I'm gonna give the class button button and here is the read more 
and now here what we need to do here I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna show you how it look like and then I will give it the styles so now it is on this side and now I'm gonna give it the styles here first of all I'm gonna give it the style to the anchor tag here is here I'm gonna define the style for all the anchor tags here is the color is white all the anchor tags have the white color and then here is the text decoration is underline all the anchor tags have the underlines and now here I'm gonna give the hover when we take the hover over the anchor tag so here is the text decoration is become none here is it is none and now here I'm gonna give the style to the div here you see that it is it contains the align right so we have to align it on the right side and then I will give the style to this anchor tag but so here I'm gonna give the align right here it is the align right here is align right div this class is given to the div here it is and here is the text align to the right side so that div is moved to the right side here is the right and now here it is you see that it is now here and we will insert this arrow image in the background of the anchor tag by using the button here we have give the button class to the anchor tag here it is you can see that button and now here it is and now I'm gonna use that class here is the button and here is the display as the inline block here is the inline block and here is we have to give the font size here is the font size is 12 pixel and here is the color is white here is the white and here is the text decoration underline here is the underline and then here is the background URL here is the arrow image here is the link marker dot GIF and here is I'm gonna give no repeat and here is the right side in the x-axis and 7 pixel so now when we give it right side so it will appear on the right side of the text and now here I'm gonna give the padding to this anchor tag on the left side here is 0 and here is for all the sides and now let's check it here it is and now here you see that it is present and now and now one thing is left here you see that here you see that when we create this section so here we have give the indent bottom to the section so we will create a padding on the bottom side and it will create a space when we create a content on the bottom side here you see that there is a space on the bottom side of this read more so we are gonna give the padding on the bottom side here is this and this and here is we have to give the padding here is 0 and here is 0 and here is 32 pixel from the bottom side and then it will be okay and here you see that it is changing so thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next video if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion